this week I'm going to paint a mural in my hometown Frankfurt, Germany and um, I'm just here in the penthouse of my client. This is the wall I will going to paint. They want something like a breakthrough of the wall with the skyline view and um, the funny thing is they have a very big balcony and they have this um, skyline view. <laughs> My job is just to copy that view onto this wall. And as you see, I just started this uh, mural painting with a pre-sketch with pencil directly onto the wall just to see where the buildings are right here in this uh, cityscape. <laughs> Okay, I just finished the pre-sketch and I just do masking tape on the buildings in order to don't paint them at the first stage. So, let's do this. So, this is basically where we are right now. I just painted the uh, sky with the pre-mixed colors and the next step is just to add some details with the spray gun right here. I got my um, pre-mixed colors right here. So I have a bucket for each color of the uh, sky. And yes, the next thing I will do is to just add some details with the spray gun. New day, new beginning. It's eight o'clock in the morning, just refreshed. I had a little distance to it, so I just came back this morning and saw it and I was like, okay, this is fine at this stage. I have some things left to uh, finish, but I just have almost finished the sky, the um, skyline at the background and some foreground buildings. But what I just have to add is just this one building in the foreground and there be a glowing effect from the sunlight coming through uh, these buildings here. And I will add that with airbrush. And um, yes, just keep on and finish this project. So let me just show you some of my uh, painting equipment. It's these things that I have here right now. Um, are the basic things that I need to paint each and every mural in my daily art business. Um, we have um, something like, like uh, masking tape here to cover all these wooden floors and stuff like that. This machine right here for my uh, spray gun. I have some various brushes right here. That's a sponge, uh, anything you need to paint. Uh, the colors that I use are mostly um, acrylic paint. My spray gun right here, it's a very simple one. Use this for uh, the background. I paint it with uh, brushes and then I add some of the spray gun effect to make it softer. All right, so uh, for now I got uh, to plan another project for next week's episode. So um, I have the, I have something like a pre-sketch for my uh, client. Just have some things changed in the image. So um, 
I have to redo that pre-sketch digital just to prepare it for next week's episode. So come on and check out how that works. All right, so we uh, have now here my working space. I'm still working on this like a forest scene or something and they they wanted to have an oval shape on the wall. The thing is this is the image for next week's episode that I'm going to paint and the client wanted just the uh, oval shape like not in the horizontal but more in a vertical way. Um, the image is just about to get changed a little bit so yes. I'm going to do this right now, here, digital. 2,000 years later. Okay, so I'm just finished with the uh, changes of the digital reference that I was working on. <laughs> and I um, changed the entire um, image. So, um, I hope that will work in the next week. And, um, yeah. Let's go to the regular program right now. Okay, I just want to talk about that momentum effect. Like, when I come to the um, project the day after I some kind of like don't know where to start just when I finished yesterday and I don't know how to keep that train rolling and um, the simple thing about that is just to start anywhere in the painting just to keep on and mixing colors and do the first and the second brush strokes um, if you do that, you just keep the train rolling. And um, what I mean with the word momentum is like when your train rolls, you put a lot of energy into it just to keep that train rolling. But if that train rolls fast enough, like you, your workflow is going to be very crazy at the day and um, you just can't stop and you don't have to think about what you do. Just keep doing what you do and this is the momentum moment where no one can stop you and this is like golden in the workflow of painting so uh, if you're stuck in painting don't think about how to start or how to get started just do your things and start now so this is very important <music> So this is it, I just finally made the last brush stroke for this mural and um, this is the final result. I guess it's quite good. I just added some, um, some things like this hole here, oh god, stretching right there and right there. Um, just a few holes to make that will breakthrough look like authentic and believable. <laughs> 